What does everybody want? And now, ready to play the game where the last word is worth everything, our players. Tony Potts. And his celebrity partner, Ted Lange, from The Love Boat. <laughs> and joining them is Janie Wilson and Janie's celebrity partner, Jill Whalen, also from The Love Boat. And now, here are two good words to get us started. Wink Martindale. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you and welcome to... The last word. Let me add a couple of good words to that. My co-host, the voice you just heard, that of Jennifer Lyle. Hello, lovely Jennifer. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to be here. Welcome to The Last Word. Thank you. And uh, if you'll move... Show. Yeah, it is first show, and I guess we probably should get started. We should. So you move over there, and I'll move over here, and here we go. Let's start by saying hello to Jill Whalen and her partner, Janie Wilson. Hello, guys. Hi. And our other team, Ted Lange and his partner, Tony Potts. Yeah. Welcome you both. Four good people ready to play a good game. You know how we play, so in, in case you don't, let me explain. Let's have our first puzzle, and I'll show you. Players, you're looking for three words. We never tell you anything about them because all three words have something in common. This means getting any one of them can lead you to the other two, and that's the whole idea. Each word has a prize attached to it. But you have to come up with the last word, the final remaining word, to win the game and to win one of these prizes. Jennifer, what do we have? Well, I'm so glad you asked, Wink. If you win the game with one word, it's Popworks. It'll have you dancing to today's sound with a look of yesterday with their 50s jukebox style. It's cassette player recorder and AM FM radio from Popworks. Win the game with two words, and Jean Roulet brings a touch of elegance to your officer home with his 18-karat gold layered over brass desk clock. Swiss made and all quartz movement from Jean Roulet. And if you win all three words, you win all three prizes, including this. Emerson's 19-inch stereo color television with 155 channel cable TV compatibility, 31 key remote control and sleep timer. Fine-tune your life with Emerson. And there they are. Nice prizes all. Win the game with all three words and all three of those prizes are yours. Win two out of three games and you'll get a chance for much more. Now it's time for game number one. Tony plays Jill of the opposing team and players. Please take your positions and we are off and running with our first game of The Last Word. By the way, no help from the partner. Jane, did you hear that? Did you hear that, Ted? We always begin with some free letters and here they come. An E, an O, and an N. We have them. All right, Tony, you go first. Hit your starter and go for a letter. Hey. And that letter is another O. Now, whenever you reveal a new letter, you're allowed to guess. That can be risky, though, and I'll tell you why. Because when you guess at a word, we'll begin typing it in. If you're wrong, the correct letter will appear in its place. Your turn will then be over, and you'll have given, uh, uh, you'll have given Jill an important clue. So do you want to guess or pass? I think, Wink, I will pass on this one. All right, let's go over to Jill Whalen. Um, guess or go for a letter? I'm going to go for a letter. All right. And it's a P. Yes or pass? I think that I'm going to um, pass. All right. Remember, three words that have something in common. Tony? I'll take a letter, Wink. Come up with an O, bottom word. Yes or pass? I'll have to pass. Back to you, Jill. Um, I will take a letter. All righty. There's no idea yet. Maybe that helped. Yes, I would like to guess the middle word. What do you Wink. think the middle word is? Igloo. All right, you're guessing igloo. Remember, we'll begin typing it in. If you're wrong, the correct letter will appear in its place. Your turn will be over then, and you'll have given an important clue to Tony. So let's see if you're right. You think it's igloo. She right? Yes! <laughs> Little bitty word that meant a lot, because that gives you one word, as you played very nicely for Janie. That's why Janie has that beautiful... You have nice teeth, too, Janie. Very, very fun. <laughs> All right, you have one word, and you're allowed to guess at another or pass. What do you want to do, Jill? Um, I think I'm going to have to pass. All right, remember, three words that are related in some way. Tony, over to you. I'll take a letter, Wink. Here it comes. Something that goes with igloo. Okay, I'll guess uh, the top word, teapot. Spell it. T-E-A-P-O-T. T-E-A-P-O-T. Is it teapot? Oh. No, it isn't. Back to you, Jill. 
Uh, you can guess or go for a letter, whatever you prefer. Um, I would like to guess the top word. All right. TP. That would give you two words if you're right. Is it TP? Yes! <laughs> Show off. Show off. Um, Danny, she's playing for you. How's she doing, huh? Great. All right, you're right for another word, and you have a chance to go for the last word. That's the name of the game. If you can win the last word, you've won the game. Um, oh boy, this is a toughie. I guess I'm gonna pass. All right, Tony, you can still win the game by coming up with the last word. You want to uh, guess or go for a letter? Go for a letter. Yeah. I will, let's see, the last word, is it... Can't. Time's up, sorry. <laughs> Back to you. Jill Whalen, you can come up with the last word and win the game. Um... Will we guess or go for a letter? Uh, go for, uh, go for a letter. We never give you the last ah. letter, by the way. Uh, All right, like that's it. the last remaining letter. We never give you that. You're entitled to a guess or, need I tell you, guess or pass. <laughs> it's what I live in, a condo. If it's condo, you have the last word, right? Yeah. <laughs> Very good, Jill Whalen. Tony, I call that a blitz. Yeah. That's a blitz. Skunk. Congratulations to the team of Janie and Jill. That's the last word. You win the game. And, of course, the three words, TP, Igloo, and Condo, living quarters. That's what we'll call those. So you've got all three words, and you win the cassette player, the clock, and a gorgeous color television set. We'll be back for game two right after we take this commercial timeout. All right, we're back with game two now of the last word. And thanks to Jill Whalen, Janie has a game to her credit. Janie, you win this one and you won the match. Now we have switch players for game two. Janie will play Ted Lange. Do you think you're up to this, Ted? Oh, yes, we're up to this. All right, right. Jennifer, what are start. we playing for in game number two, please? Well, Wink, if you win the game with one word from MPI Home Video, The Honeymooners Lost Episodes, specially restored after discovery in Gleason's personal vault, a cultural treasure furnished by MPI. Now, if you win the game with two words, Rokina International's Rokina on professional type 35mm focus free camera, motor advance and rewind includes hard case from Rokina International. And if you win the game with all three words, you win all three prizes, including Nemo marries the modern look of acrylic to the fun of neon to create the neon telephone, a great blend of form and function from Nemo Incorporated. So it's Jamie trying to win the game for the match. And it's Ted trying to win the game for Tony to even things up at a game of peace. Let's see if they can pull it off. Let's see the puzzle, please. And the three letters. They are E, an O, and a K. All right, Janie, you go first for a letter. Looks like an H to me. Take a guess or pass. I'll have to pass. Ted, your first turn. All right, I'm... Letter. There you go. Hmm. Any help? No, three no, no. words that are related. Time's up. Janie, back to you. Guess or go for a letter. I'll guess at the bottom word. So soon? Yeah, I'll she go for it. She feels sure of herself. What do you say it is? <laughs> is it poker? You think the bottom word is poker? P O K. It would work. Let's see yeah. if you're right. No. Oh. Look at Ted smile. <laughs> oh, that uh, devilish fiend over you there. You know, I went and saw Batman, so I feel <laughs> really good. I saw that uh, movie. What do you want to do, Ted? Can I? I'll go for a letter, and then I'll. All right. All right maybe a little strategy here. I want to take a guess for the bottom word. Yes. Joker. If you're right, you have the first word. Is it Joker? Yes. <laughs> all right. Hey, all right. See, Tony smells victory over there already. <laughs> you're right for one word, Ted. You're allowed to guess at another word. Okay. Um, I'm going to Oh, pass. time's up. you got to yeah. get in real quick. Janie, yeah. you want to guess or go for a word? A letter. I'm going to go for a letter. Here it comes. Guess or pass. Okay. Pat. Oh, time's oh. up again. Ted, guess or go for a letter. Letter. Something that goes with Joker. Ted? Hmm. Time's up. Janie, back to you. Guess or go for a letter. I'll Three words letter. that have something in common, all right? A lot of people in the audience know. Ted. I'm going to guess. 
Which word? The middle word. What is it? Gotham. If you're right, you have a second word. Gotham? Yes! <laughs> Very good, kid. You have two words. And you are allowed to go for the final word. Yes. The last word, which is the name of our game. It would even up yes, the match well. at a game of peace. <laughs> yes, it would, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. <laughs> you got to hurry. Yeah. Time's going to run out. What do you want to do? Um, I guess. All right, back to Janie. I don't know. Oh. Janie, you can guess or go for a letter. Going for the match. I'm going to go for a letter. <gasps> oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. Back to you. We never give you the I, last letter, so... I want to take a guess. I thought you might <laughs> say that. If you come up with the last word, we have a tie match at a game of peace. What do you think it is? Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Bruce. For the last Bruce word. The last yes word. or no? Yes. 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 Hey, how many times have I seen you on Love Boat? You always had the last word behind that bar, and you did it again on our show. Yes. So we have a tie. Let's see, of course, we're talking about Bruce, Gotham, and Joker, all related to Batman. Yeah. And you got all three words, so you picked up the videotapes for Tony, the hey. camera, and that gorgeous phone. Tony, congratulations. Well done. Thank you. Now, Jennifer, what are we going to be playing for in this final playoff game? Well, Wink, if they win the game with one word, Washington Forge five-piece Green River Cutlery set with edge saver block. American-made professional cutting edges designed for all your cutlery needs from and furnished by Washington Forge. Win the game with two words and GMI's Minnesota Fats floor model mini pool table. Scaled down exactly to size and offers the excitement of a full-size table. Quality game table by GMI. And if you win with three words, you get all three prizes, including this Hot Point dishwasher. Makes for easy cleanup of heavily soiled items with a hard-working pots and pan cycle. It also features energy-saving drying option and a built-in soft food disposer to reduce pre-rinsing. Furnished by Hot Point. All righty, that's what you're going to be playing for. We're going to... I tell you what, for this playoff, we're going to let the, uh, let the celebrities take a rest. We're going to let the two contestants fight it out. Before the show today, we tossed a coin for this round, which means, Janie, you're going to get to go first. So Ted just replaced uh, Tony over there, so it's Tony versus Janie. Let's have our tiebreaker to see who wins and goes for a lot of nice prizes in our bonus game. And the free letters, T-A-M. All right, Janie, you go first, please. It's a K. I'll have to pass. All right, Tony, your turn. Okay, yes or go for a letter? I'll take a letter. I'll have to pass. All right, time's up. Janie, back to you. I'll take a letter, wait. Oh, you know early on when I said that could happen sometime? Ted, remember we talking yes, about that? Yes. It didn't happen to you, but whenever you land on a letter that's already revealed, there is a penalty. You must give a letter to your opponent. Your choice of any letter and any word, so try not to be too helpful. I'll give him the middle word and the fourth letter. What a nice, what a nice person you are. Tony? Okay, I'll have to uh, take a letter. Three words in some way tied together. Time's up. Janie? I'll take a guess at the top word. What do you think the top word is? Strike. If it's strike, you have a word. Oh. Is it strike? Yes! Very good, Janie. You're right for a word, and you're allowed to guess at another word, or pass. Take a look at what's left. Middle word, bottom word. I'll have to pass. Tony. Okay, Wink, I'll take a letter. Oh, Tony, you gotta give Janie a letter. Thanks. Okay, I will give her the bottom word, the third letter. Stop laughing, Janie. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do? I'll have to pass. Yes. Oh. oh. You can guess or go for a letter. Okay, I'll go for a letter. Right. Oh. oh. Maybe you should have done what you were planning to do before I said... <laughs> All right, Janie. Okay. You have to give him a letter. The bottom word and the fifth letter. Tony. Is the bottom word shame? S-H-A-M-E. Right or wrong? Wrong. And we put up the first letter of that word. Janie, back to you. Guess or go for a letter. I'll have to pick a letter. 
All right. Still doesn't know. Any help, Janie? Oh, Tony. Okay, Wink, I will take a guess at the middle word. And is it spare? Let's take a look. Strike, spare. Yes or no? Yes. Ah! All, right. All, right. All right, you're right. That gives you a word, and you're allowed to guess at the last word, the name of the game. And, of course, if you come up with the last word, Tony, you've won the match. Okay, Wink, I think I'm going to take a guess at the last or the bottom word, and the last word of the game is it frame. Does he have the last word? <laughs> you got it. Congratulations, Tony. You had the last word, and indeed, not only the last word, but you won the match. Congratulations yes. to you. Let's see. By the way, of course, we were talking about uh, going bowling, strike, spare, and frame. Those three words, uh, actually two words, give you the pool table. That's mm -hmm. that second prize. The pool table, which is very nice yeah. for your home again. So, Tony... Assisted by Ted Lange, we're going to see how much more you can win in our 60-second challenge, and we'll do that right after we come back from this commercial timeout. Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome back to The Last Word and our 60-second challenge. Tony, with Mr. Lange's help here, <laughs> You are going to go for a plethora of great prizes. <laughs> Listen to Jennifer. That plethora includes Jean Dev brings new dimension to timekeeping with a watch that marries today's technology with yesterday's styling. The Sectora is 18 karat gold overlay and all Swiss made from Jean Dev watches. And set your watch to adventure when you jet to Venice, Italy. <laughs> Tour. Visit the Greek Isles, Istanbul, the Black Sea, and Dubrovnik. Just a few of the 13 ports of call in the beautiful world renaissance. An unforgettable cruise from a Paratiki cruise line. Sound good, Tony? Sounds good to me. That's not the love boat either. No. Okay. I'm in there. You'll like it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Tony. It. With his help, your job is to solve 10 puzzles in 60 seconds with each We'll give you the first two words as clues, and then begin putting in letters uh, in the last word one at a time. You can both call out as many guesses as you wish. As soon as we hear the correct answer, we'll give you the next puzzle. For each correct answer, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate. If you solve all 10 puzzles, those prizes valued at $8,200 will all be yours. All right, let's start. Ready to play? All right, there we go. All right, 60 seconds on the clock, please, and go. May, June, July, April. April. Yes, April, April is right. Uh, Simple H, uh, 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 Yes, next. Uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Minister, Minister uh, Preacher, Priest. Priest. Yes, Priest. yes. Uh, next. Uh, zipper, zipper buttons, buttons uh, pockets, pockets, buttonholes. Uh, zipper, uh, um, uh, pepper, zipper, zipper. Uh, what is that? Button, uh, uh, zipper buttons. Velcro, Velcro. That's correct. Five more. Gold, silver, bronze. Yes, four more. Smoke, uh, engine, engine, diesel, dust, uh, smoke, engine, uh, fire, hoses, um, parade, 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 no, no, paddle, 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 You got Bishop. That's all you needed. I thought when you got that B, you had it. Tony, what happened? I don't know. You got it, but you got it about a minute or actually a second too late. Seemed like a minute it to you. Did. Oh, well, you didn't get all ten, but you did get nine of them worth $900 in gift certificates. That brings your grand total for the day to $1,900. Our next 60-second challenge will be worth $12,300. The players are going to switch to other partners and return for our next game right after this. If you're going to be in the Vancouver area and would like to be a contestant on The Last Word or a member of our studio audience, 
where you could win some fabulous prizes, just write us at the last word, Box 4700, Vancouver, BC, V6B483. That's the last word, Box 4700, Vancouver, BC, V6B483. Or call us at 604-421-9437. That's 604-421-9437. The last word in game show excitement can be yours. We'd love to see you. Back to you, Wink. Jennifer, thank you very much. Ted Lange. Yes. I look at you and I think Love Boat, but you just opened in a very, very critically acclaimed play. Yes, Driving Miss Daisy. That's why I have my beard here. Yeah. I'm playing right. an older guy. Yeah. Playing, not, not playing Miss Daisy. No, not playing Miss Daisy. Where yeah. is it, Ted? It's going to be, it's uh, Birmingham, Michigan. We're going to be there for five weeks and then I go out on tour. We, so if we get to Birmingham, Michigan, we'll see you there. Please. Ted Lange of Love Boat. All Fame. right. Here we go, beginning the second of our two out of three matches on The Last Word. However, that bell means that that is all the time we have for today. Tell you what we'll do. We'll pick up where we left off on our next show, and I'll be back right after this. Please don't go. Right now, we'd like to give our wonderful viewers a chance for the last word. Here's a chance for you at home to play right along. We'll give you a puzzle with two words completed. It's your job to pick the last word. Remember, all three words have something in common. Here's the puzzle. Now remember, three words all have something in common. Send your answer to the following address. Viewer's last word, Post Office Box 4700, Vancouver, BC, V6B 4A3. Include the date and station you're watching, and if your name is drawn and you're correctly giving us the last word, we'll send you a great prize. Good luck, everyone. And now, back to you, Wink. And we got to run. I'm Wink Martindale for Jennifer Lyle and all of us at the end of the show. I always get the last word, which is simply goodbye. While in Vancouver, accommodations were provided by the Chateau Gamble Hotel, located in downtown Vancouver. Ask about our weekend specials. For reservations, call toll free 1 800 663 0575. Come enjoy the sweet night.